What's up everybody, this is the Classic Tycoon here for episode 7 of the Leafy Lake Let's Play series. In the last episode we finished up building um, the wooden roller coaster there, and that is going to be a huge help in paying back the loan and building some more rides and also attracting more guests to help secure up that 500 guest goal that we're looking to achieve by the end of uh, year three. And that's looking pretty safe right now, but I'd like to build a couple more rides today. So let's look at what developed. I see the log flume, bumper boat, suspended swinging coaster. This all happened while I was building the wooden roller coaster. So I'm thinking today maybe some bumper boats. Those are usually a, a pretty decent ride. I'm thinking let's put it over here by the pirate ship and by Loch Ness. So let's go ahead and build our station platform. This is another ride that's super easy to build because all you got to do is put in the station platform and the guests will do the rest. And there we go. It's as easy as that. And it's already open. Generating some revenue. Try to spruce it up a little bit, make it look a little bit nicer. And that looks pretty good. Next thing I want to do here, we look at our finances. Um, our guests, they're not really increasing that much. Even though I've got an advertisement going on. I think lots of guests are leaving. They're probably running out of money. Which would be nice to have a cash machine, but we don't. So I'm going to create another advertising campaign. See if we can't get some more guests in here. To spend some money and help us get keep that revenue up. Keep our cash flow up. So we can keep building rides here without borrowing more uh, money for the loan. So next thing we're going to do is go ahead and build the log flume. I'm going to build this right on the lake. So let's get that station platform going here. And a thing that I notice is the bumper boats are all kind of hanging out. So let's uh, let's put a fountain there, just to keep them from going over there, and then they won't get stuck. I don't think that they'll they'll try to go past the fountain, and that will help them get back to the station platform. So we should be good there. We'll pay back some loan. I'm gonna try and and build the log flume and pay back the loan simultaneously here. Log flume should be cheap enough that it won't dip into our funds too much, especially if our, our roller coasters are um, generating enough money or generating money fast enough to also pay for the log flume as I go. See, there are a few times where I run into money issues with it, but if you just wait a moment here, I mean, let's just watch this for a moment. Look how much money comes from one train coming in from the wooden roller coaster. So that gives me some money to keep going here. I 
I always like to put a reverse return table in my log flumes, especially before a big drop. I kind of experiment with how, where, I, the, where I want this ride to go. And I'm thinking about putting the drop here, but I sort of, oh, looks like the, one of the tricycles isn't getting back, but I didn't see it. We'll take a look at that later, though. Now, I was thinking here at first, but I want enough time uh, to put in another turntable so that the boats will all be turned back the, uh, the right way when they go back into the station platform. Also, this isn't a super long ride. Lock flumes are generally a little bit longer anyways, so I'll make the track a little bit longer here. You don't want it to be too long because guests will get bored, but I think this is okay here. And look how fast that money goes back up. Granted, this is double time right now, but even, even then that money is going up super fast, so that's good. We're in a good spot here. And there we are, we're in business, so very nice. I always change the amount of boats that are there. I changed it to 18, and then I decide to go with 16 boats. And you'll see that I think 18 probably was the better choice, but 16 will be okay. Let's put some fountains around to help increase that excitement rating. I don't know if you saw, but putting one fountain there next to the bumper boats actually increased the bumper boats excitement rating by 0.2, which is pretty significant. So we'll put a few of those around. Um, and we made money this month, even though, or last month, even though we built that entire log flume, so that's awesome. So we should be able to pay back that loan. See, there's a pretty big gap between the last log flume and the first one, but it's not too significant. So I don't think it will cause guests to wait. And I think the load times, um, the boat load times will help alleviate some of that. So let's go ahead and put in the station, or the, uh, the queue path and the exit path here. And now we're open for business. There we go. Now I always treat log flumes um, as just like roller coasters, so I'll go ahead and create an advertising campaign for it. That should get some more guests into the park. And then I'll also change the inspection rate to every 10 minutes. I saw that the balloon stalls were uh, were made available during the log flume construction. So I love balloon stalls. They make a lot of money, but they also 
create a nice fireworks show at the end of the uh, the objective. So I'll put in some of those here, just all around the park, different colors, so that you have you know just, just more variety. Looks nicer. Put in one more here. Good to go. Alright, everything is looking pretty good here. Um, let's check out the water tricycles. Uh, yeah, yeah, excitement rating's fine there. So let's go ahead, yeah, and let's check out the water tricycles because I know that one of them was getting stuck earlier, so let's see if we can find it. And there it is, boat five. Funny enough, I'm just going to leave them like that. All right, guys, that's enough for today. Um, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.